Today he found out his wife has sent lewd pic to an older co-worker very recently. She has admitted it. She claims it was because she liked the attention, that it was not an ongoing thing and that nothing else happened. He's honestly not sure what to believe though. On the home front they have no children and have been unable to conceive for several years and this has been rough on their relationship. They have remained sexually active but strained. He will admit he have been more distant than he should have been and could have been more emotionally supportive, mostly due to the conception issue and general life stressors. He had no idea it had gone this far though. She has a history of being a poor communicator and bottling up feelings dot 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 so in that way he's unsurprised it silently escalated. They've been married for 5 years and together 12. He has no clue if he can forgive this and if he did, how he would ever trust again. In playing the situation back in his head she became more attentive probably a few months ago and he wonder if that's when it really started. Or maybe that was a cry for attention. Where do he start? Did you record the evidence you gathered? He got the text screenshots and a recording of her saying yes to it. Is he still her co-worker? Yes. And when he asked if she would leave, she said she didn't want to leave her friends again. This happened a few minutes ago and was when he knew what his decision had to be regarding the marriage. How are they communicating most of the time? Is it through phone? Via email? She deletes the emails after sending them. He made her show him the account, but nothing is there. No way to know if she's lying and they're elsewhere. Do they see each other at work, after work or someplace else? Yes, to at work. At any point. No clue on after. Do they have a chance to be physical, considering they're co-workers? Likely yes. You claim that it's not an ongoing thing, how can you be sure? When was the last time they communicated? Within the last hour it was I did it and deleted it and has changed to several weeks of pictures and an undefined period before that of flirting. So, he can't be sure. Do you know the AP's wife? He knows of her. They went to their wedding years back as a work function. But otherwise, no. Same for him. Did she confess the sexting or admit it when confronted? How has she proven that's as far as it went? Only when confronted. And she hasn't. He's not sure how they could. As she offered complete transparency on all devices and social media. Written out a timeline to be verified by polygraph. He hadn't thought about the polygraph, but she declined to leave that place of employment, so he now does not trust at all that she has done. As long as there's contact the affair continues. If she chooses him and her job over, you and your marriage there's nothing to work with. Tell her at least she's making your decision, if not the execution of it, easier for you. Pretty much yes. He brought it up again and through sheer force of will she missed the point and said she likes other people there and it's not just him. He assumes she meant his co-workers dot 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 but he's not sure he even wants to know if there's more. It's a small company. He could email the owner but that's about it. No real way to contact the other spouse unless he researched the public information. Thanks for all the help. She's packed up and left for her sisters as they speak so the conversation is over for now. He did find the other woman on Facebook but he's hesitant as he doesn't have proof of who. What if she's lying to him about who the affair is with? There is at least one more likely candidate if he's being honest. This is a person she recently visited claiming she was there to help him with the kids because the wife was out of town, which he certainly found odd at the time. Also, yes, he asked for a timeline of when things really started. She's playing dumb and doesn't know when they started flirting. Nor did she know what prompted her to send the first message other than stating that she was talking about how other woman did not value the other man. Again, biggest hesitation on blowing up the O is what if it's not true. Well, he did find two emails, no responses from him. One of those was also an email with a photo of a Handerton calendar. And the weekend he was out of town in June clearly there. Not what he was doing. Not the event he was at dot 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 or location. Just out of town. To clarify he found the emails to the guy she admitted sexting. No evidence towards the second guy but it certainly stinks. Thanks for all the support, everyone. He has decided to hold on informing other betrayed spouse until his emotions calm down. He knows this is at least his third wife, so big surprise from that side of the exchange. While he agrees she should know, it also opens him up to a messy involvement, especially if she directs her anger towards him. All that is currently beyond his emotional limit. What is their work relationship? One of them superior to the other. Most companies don't really delete mail. It's still there on the server. It's an auto sales business. He is sales and she is administrative but was previously sales. The emails are Yahoo and Gmail. He has access to her Yahoo for now. But who knows how long and where else messages were sent. Especially now that she knows he know. He sent a Yahoo deleted email recovery request but per their site it's good for only the last 7 days. He doesn't know how anyone could be sure of what has happened. For all he knows she was caught before anything physical did happen. Either way he believes the intent was there. And what she's already done is terrible and just idiotic. He keeps telling himself better now than later and to be thankful he became aware of the person she truly was. After seeing the response yesterday, he genuinely wonders if there's some level of emotional deficiency there. She responded the same way she does when they have a squabble over something stupid. Barely spoke, barely apologized, and raised her voice when challenged because she was mad at herself. But what about me? This isn't a messy laundry room it was their marriage. To the doctor today for an unrelated checkup by coincidence so he will request an STD test. 
Also, Yahoo email recovery is still pending, but she could change it via the emergency email or phone at any time. Is it illegal for him to change those so he can retain access until he sees what's really in there? Yahoo email rollback took place, it appears. So, he has emails as far back as 6 minutes 28 and two responses from other men. Though still not sure it's entirely complete dot dot dot, but this is it. Emails to him 6 minutes 28, 6 minutes 30, 7 minutes 3, and 2 on 7 minutes 6, a photo of the July calendar and a lewd pic an hour or two later. All photos taken from their house, many when he was home, and one when he was upstairs not feeling great before a family event. He had previously found photos dating from 6 minutes 21 on her device but no accompanying email. So, several weeks at minimum. Not sure why he cares other than to document for when needed in the future. He can't think of much worse than having to look at these. Any recommendations for a reasonable lawyer in Neo? His biggest concern is other man is a three-time divorcee and will be in her head about getting what's hers and nuking any chance of a reasonable split. All this and she went to work today. They have had no contact. Well, he's not sure why he's doing this to himself dot 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 but he has access to her texts via iMac and he reads some family ones. The whole thing reads like a joke. Either she lied to them about what happened, or they see the whole thing as a passing moment. Like she backed into something in his car. He can't believe his eyes. Should he cut himself off from this? He knows he shouldn't be doing that in any case dot 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 but he feels the intense urge to know if she's being truthful with her family. But does it really matter? He knows the answer, but he can't act rationally. Comment. Betrayal shatters our confidence in our perception of reality. We need as much truth as we can find, anywhere and everywhere, in an effort to find our way back to a feeling of security in our beliefs. Likely impossible to fight and even though we can't unsee whatever we find. See we must. Original poster, very well said. Most recent update is they were to meet tonight just to discuss and for him to obtain what explanation there is, maybe get some clarity, or even closure. He doesn't know. This was cancelled a few hours later because she needs time to think. Claiming she has no explanation for why she did anything she did. Hurt him and leave him here. She is now at her sister's. Whatever. He can't believe he recently thought this woman loved him. And her explanation of why they were going to meet is just utter garbage. Claiming she just wasn't thinking about what the pictures meant and what could happen. The funniest part of this excuse is that it's not even good if it were true because she is effectively saying he's as dumb as a box of rocks. He spoke with an attorney who advised he should avoid involving the other betrayed spouse as it will only serve to make his divorce messier and more contentious. Maybe it will be that way right now, maybe not. Is he thinking about this wrong? Good idea on phone logs, they're on the same plan. And she has been speaking to him pretty constantly over the last three days and texting non-stop today, yesterday at least. Interestingly these are not on iCloud, but all other messages are dot 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 is there a way to hide this? It's showing as messaging on it and T so it's not a different app. Responding to the quote, if you inform the other betrayed spouse, the other man will drop your wayward wife like a hot potato. He guesses in the unlikely event this could ever work out and it's all a big misunderstanding. Then he doesn't want to interfere to make her come back. She would need to make that call. If she was willing to do this once she would do it again. And him stopping it does nothing for the future. She has supposedly agreed to let him see her text thread with other man tomorrow. She doesn't know he have the ad and t log so he would know immediately if she made choice deletes of text or MMS messages. From there he could determine if there's even any discussion to have. If she's being honest now at least he can talk and learn something or whatever. He already knows the answer but it's like math class with emotions. Show your work. Thanks for the advice. He thinks the difference is, he could never stay with someone who had done that to him. Much easier to say without children of course. So maybe it's a blessing they were not successful. He doesn't see how he could ever forgive that transgression. And that's not a knock on you, it's just him and his decisions. He's on the edge of departing. Maybe it's the anger talking as he finds reasons to support why this is good for him, but in hindsight he feels his mental and emotional attractions to her never grew, and he took a risk on that they would cultivate after the years dot 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 but it's just not there. His head is firm with what he thinks he know, and the rational review of all the signs, but hesitation comes from the heart, which is wavering and wants to convince him of anything to feel normal and safe and loved again, even if it's fleeting and at his own expense long term. Part of him hopes when they meet, she says she is done, so it can just be over. And another that the remorse pours, and he can eventually believe nothing else really happened. And though he knows he have no blame in the infidelity dot 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 he wishes he could go back and be better and more positive, supporting, and outwardly loving than he was. As an almost 40-year-old man he can say with certainty he has cried more times in the past two days than his entire adult life combined. It's interesting the revelations you have as these things develop. She's decided to keep a scheduled rafting event this morning despite their plan to meet today. Her response to him was she wanted to talk with her friends, which sounds literally unbelievable, until he talked it out with his friend, who is a good friend of hers and realized she never deals with anything. And her coping mechanism is constantly going, doing, vacationing, avoiding. Even now, in their hour of crisis she is doing this, coping, full circle to his revelation dot 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 he knew this when they married, and it was his biggest hesitation. 
At the time he thought if he had a supportive, loving, attractive and trustworthy wife he was okay with this issue. What he failed to realize is this type of mental health issue does not stay level, and it now has compounded to where they are. Is he being stupid and thinking they could work out a disillusionment? Does that put him at a disadvantage? Comment, she left you, in pain, to go to her sister's house, where she constantly texted the other man. She completely minimized what happened to her family. And this morning, she is going rafting. Original poster, that's quite a summary when you dot 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 well dot 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 summarize it. Comment, 1. Telling the other betrayed spouse doesn't affect a divorce at all. It's the morally right thing to do. Unless you live in some country where people live in caves. Original poster, killing it now makes her more likely to fight him simply for revenge? No. Let this heading serve as notice that you are not unique. Your situation is not notably different than the others on here. And what you've been told is probably true, no matter how much you don't want it to be. Today was the wildest ride of his life. She came over around noon to do the talk they had been planning. And they talked. And they talked and talked. They talked about the emotional affair and all her excuses, which he started to buy into looking into her innocent doe eyes combined with a fervent insistence that nothing had happened and that she was just that naive. She had been apologetic and seemed genuinely sorry for her silly mistake. Even noting her sister had sent indecent photos to someone too. How relatable. Then they talked about their relationship and life. And here's the weird part. They had the best most connective conversations they have ever had they talked about things they would never have talked about before and caught up on so many past neglected conversations, deaths, grievances, and old wounds. It was absolutely unreal. Cathartic. It made him want to take back what he put a few pages back about their lack of connection. It was refreshed. Renewed. And the mental, emotional connection felt like it was on the verge of being better than it had ever been before. Seven hours passed like two. They hadn't finalized a plan to resolve the open issues but were working towards it and agreed to set a timeline on when this discussion would be finalized, which they did not get to do because. Then he cornered her, having previously admitted to deleting other man's messages on the regular, and earlier that day agreeing to allow him to attach her phone to a deleted items recovery app on the computer she suddenly changed her mind and disallowed him from doing so. She gave some excuses not worth mentioning and then gradually admitted new or previously denied things like. She was overtly sexually flirting with him. He had sent her pictures too. She knew the calendar was an invite for SX. They kissed and he grabbed her butt. But that was it. And they exchanged 69 in a parking lot. Icing on the cake is, they have been active in the week between the time that occurred and D-Day. They pray that anything she could have caught did not have time to cultivate. A wonderful going away gift though. Comment, you do realize that the worst act she admitted to is just the tip of the iceberg. Otherwise, why not let you check out her phone? She is still prioritizing and protecting herself. Her AP and has placed your health at risk. Original poster, thank you for the clarity. And yes, but he stopped caring. She crossed a line he cannot forgive. So having hit the top of the shit pile he was looking for he knew it was over and stopped digging. Comment, all the stuff about having deep conversations and cathartic emotions and feeling suddenly connected. All run-of-the-mill stuff. Original poster, curious, why is the emotional stuff normal? He's indeed preparing to file. He was considering forgiving a true non-physical affair but as everyone else here knew from the beginning, it was never that. He needed to know in his own time. His head is everywhere though, wondering if she is the company floozy. Passed around from person to person. It's sickening. Is this why she was so well received there? He knows this will fade in time but as God it cannot happen fast enough. The anguish is unbearable. She is still presenting as amicable so he will talk to an attorney this week about what his best options are to leverage that if possible. He honestly just wants it done with minimal fuss. He doesn't want to fight over the property but he won't see himself screwed if he could help it. His state does not take infidelity into account financially, it is only grounds for divorce, and so he has removed him from access to her texts to end that self-torture. He would be unable to not look and that is a tremendously terrible place to be mentally. He still has saved evidence if needed. This is going to be an incredibly hard recovery for him as full-time work from home. Even trying to get out nights and weekends he will see their house constantly dot 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 not sure what to do. Maybe it will wind up sold, he doesn't know. Comment, if you can gather all the evidence, you can get and file it as adultery that would be best for your case. I believe you have gathered some proof. Original poster, he will be very upset if removing himself from that will impact him negatively. But he could not take it. He has proof of the photos being shared, and to be fair he does not know that he would ever get concrete evidence of the affair. What's done is done there. Maybe he asks her to sign something admitting this. As he said she is still amicable and presenting to feel bad so may agree. Regarding the space dot 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 the bedroom itself does not bother him per second, but just being at the home 40 plus hours a week will be difficult. And being 100% alone with no conversation or distraction aside from a few work calls or meetings. Ugh. Comment. Do you have access to her phone records? If you're the primary owner of your plan, then you'll be able to access it. Original poster, yes. Until she moves plans. But why? He wants to be done and it doesn't matter. While this is hard, 
He opens the back door and see the email she sent him about the yard being one of the reasons he should get this home, and her moving in. In the kitchen he pictures her cooking dinner, but it feels like the upside-down world of Stranger Things, twisted and wrong. Seems like he really need to relocate. Comment, even noting her sister had sent indecent photos to someone too. How relatable. Original poster, he had assumed this was a distraction tactic to minimize what she had done, while also keeping that activity as the focus. Thus avoiding additional probing questions about the affair. But it clearly could be true too. He knows nothing other than hearsay so he will leave that alone, but he fears for that husband too. She left today for her sisters, took her basics and then left her house key in the wedding rings. She is very agreeable for now and, if this remains, he's confident they could work something out quickly. She's getting an attorney consult tomorrow, and while he understands why he fear for if they get in her head about getting what she is due and how far her guilt will go when she starts to see dollar signs. On another note, only time will tell them the truth but dot 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 she has told him other man is going to tell other betrayed spouse and he presume, leave her. Regardless of the discussion on if this is true, if Wayward is lying, if other man is lying to Wayward, whatever dot 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 if it is true, he can't help but wonder how long until he decides he is bored. For her sake, hopefully it's before she becomes his fourth wife. But history says otherwise. Or maybe she'll snap out of it and try to come crawling back to him stirring up these terrible emotions all over again. Whatever comes of this for her, she has earned it. Trust him all, he wants to do that more than anything. But he's going to stick with the original plan until things are resolved. Or if they turn into a shit fest, he'll do it then. Comment, your acquired property in the marriage will be split 50 over 50 in most cases. Original poster, she made more dollar sign than him for most the marriage. So hopefully no payments. And the 50 over 50 split would be quite an impact to him because she blew most her money and he saved most his. At the moment she is verbally willing to take her property and other items of basic necessity and leave financial account and other consideration alone. These were never combined during the marriage anyways. That's probably a pipe dream once attorneys are involved though. This is why he's trying to move on a quick dissolution. On the mental front things are incredibly hard. It's a mix between one self-torture and thoughts of the betrayal, unwelcome thoughts of the pictures he had to see, the timeline of the affair he's aware of, matching those timelines up with the pictures and his imagination running wild filling in all other details of what could have happened. She does this betrayal during the day and comes home, gives him a kiss, and sx constantly with other man while he's in the house, or photos of her wearing lingerie while he was out of town which means they had to have met up then, maybe here, and, to his emotional brain wishing his wife would walk through the front door. He needs to let go of this, and quickly, and, three dealing with a world that is colorless and gray thanks to the above. Everything is terrible, signed initial paperwork for attorney today, sent a shared doc to Wayward to set up agreed property distribution, talked to his parents at length too and they say maybe he's being too hasty, maybe they should talk to someone, and despite all the evidence it has only been four days, so he says, maybe. They were talking anyways about the property stuff so he probes Wayward to confirm she wants this, and she says not sure, and they could talk to someone dot 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 but wait not sure about that either. In this conversation he says, are you talking to other man? She says no, he's in another state and busy. He checks phone logs. Lies lies lies, please don't tell him he's stupid, he already knows. Just come tie him down to a chair and save him from himself. Thanks, had a friend call the dealership. He confirmed that other man is in but is not at his desk was exchanging with Wayward about the aforementioned stuff and she disappeared around 5.20 and hasn't shown back up. Luckily, the phone records still exist. Original poster and some of the emails she sent him and received. Comment, you're not stupid. You're a faithful partner who still has trouble coming to grips with the fact that his Wayward lies to him every time she moves her lips. Original poster, thanks friend. Comment, and only actions count. Original poster, definitely a lesson for him to learn from this. Appreciate the continued responses and input from all. Reached out to a therapist today. And today is the first day he has felt much other than sad. Still sad, but also anger and intense anxiety are forming. Trying to stay active and join the gym. But it's hard on about three hours of sleep a night. Got ambience but it is not helping him stay asleep. He is full-time work from home and enjoyed the freedom up until this. Now it is just brutal. Barely any communication with others outside of text with friends, no change in environment for most of the day, stuck in their house all day long. His wife was the person he conversed with at the end of the day. And unfortunately, his work setup is really not very conducive to working elsewhere. Maybe it's time for a job change too. He's not sure what else there is for you all to contribute, but he needs an outlet. The dog they have is actually at the mother-in-law's because he can't bear to be tied down to the house. Hopefully able to figure that part out soon but he's well loved there. Looks like he's about in your position in terms of distance. But if he can make it out, he will. 
On the paperwork side of things, he's discovering that too, his wife is terrible at managing her finances or she has hidden funds from him. She made a significant salary for a number of years and had limited expenses through helping out with utilities and food, otherwise her funds were all her own. He kept his largely separate and thought they were doing a good thing. Looking back, he should have dug in more just to know where they were. He can't fathom where it has gone dot 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 and have to say if he were to find there was a long-running plot here, he could lose himself in the continued betrayal. It makes him sick to think she can do what she did and then take so much from him. Hopefully he's just being paranoid. She is living her life normally aside from being displaced after leaving and probably in an active affair. She's not asked to come back, talk things out, or anything similar and has asked to pick up more belongings next weekend. She was here Thursday doing the same. Which, if his recent learnings are a guide, means there's actually a lot going on behind the curtain. No change in plans. Also, can't get any of his work recommended therapists to call back or answer their phones. Didn't talk to a single person this week to even schedule something. Very frustrating. On that level his emotional mind refuses to let go. In a very real and odd way. He sees thoughts like maybe it was all a test or a joke float by. And continue to wait to wake up, he's in such strong denial that he knows he's in it. It's bizarre dot 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 he can't say he have ever been in this situation before. Nine days since the discovery of the affair. As much as he needed it before, he now wonders if he shouldn't have deleted his access to the texts as he can be certain it would help him remain vigilant looking forward. Whether or not it would be worth continually ripping open the wounds is only something time will tell. For those who have become aware of their spouse's infidelity he's sure they can relate to the pain of having to see the exchange. It is worse than just knowing. Wayward is on a family vacation. But the theme that she continues to choose leisure over any discussion here continues. They are talking about property split, documents, etc. and it inevitably slips into something other than that. He's unable to fully avoid it. However, reading the tactical primer post perhaps he's being too hard on himself. It cites 3 minutes 6 months for stage 5 and 3 minutes 12 for stage 6 and I'm here on day 9. He feels like he doesn't know what's left to return to. If he could eventually forgive the infidelity the constant lies, moral boundary issues, and general terrible decision-making of some of these actions would taint his future life. In 12 years, this is the first time they hit a true hard spot in their relationship. And the response was better find someone else. He would be in the mode of policing her actions always. But despite betrayal and these concerns the feelings remain. He wants to yell at them to be rational. In terms of actual news, he learned she is looking for apartments and that the text she sent to her mother admitting of the cheating said she decided to see if she had feelings for someone else because she thought the spark in their marriage was gone. Seems like a pretty clear exit affair and yet through all these actions she won't give him the closure of admitting it's over for her. In summary, he will provide his current feelings in the form of a horror film snapshot. He has attempted escape from this terrible situation. He hopped over the privacy fence, leaving the proverbial yard of his marriage. He's now looking back through a peephole at the green grass bathed in a beautiful sunlit glow, knowing but unable to see the terrors that stalk barely out of frame waiting to pounce if he were to come back over. Don't do it protagonist.